everyone and welcome back or welcome if this is your first time joining me. I'm Helen and this is my channel Stitch Rip Repeat and today is a Friday Sews. So Friday Sews is where we talk all about any sewing plans, any sewing makes, a little bit of life and usually purchases. It is the brainchild of lovely Jen in today in Jen's sewing room. I will mention her and everyone else I talk about in my description below. And if you do not already, I highly recommend searching Friday Sews and following all the other wonderful YouTubers out there who record every single Friday. If you follow me, you'll know mine's hit and miss. And also if you're watching this as I upload, you'll realise it's Sunday. But as it's a Friday Sews format, I'm sticking with that. <laughs> so I have one make, I have some purchases, uh, some plans and uh, what I'm up to next week. So if you follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, I'll pop my handle here. You will have seen that I recorded, I uploaded photos of my most recent make, which is the Bob Pants by Style Arc Patterns. And it's the first Style Arc Patterns I've done. Now, because it's a very simple pattern, the fact that Style Arc don't go into a lot of details with instructions was not an issue. <laughs> I've heard a lot of things about their uh, rather small instructions, but this is a very straightforward pattern. It literally has front leg piece, back leg piece, pocket pieces and waistband. So really easy. So thankfully I didn't need really any instructions. Uh, I was inspired totally by the lovely Sarah, who is So Sarah Style, both here on YouTube and on Instagram. I'm sure you already follow her, but if you don't, like I say, all details will be linked in the description below. Now I decided to make my first pair in a very basic, sort of staple colour and it is a sort of khaki hopefully I'll be popping in photos and I thought this time of year around autumn and with some of my patterned makes that I like it would be a great staple for trousers and it is a fabric had a moustache so I can't say what it is but it is this gorgeous textured it's quite a heavy weight uh, fabric um, it's a sort of linen look, but it's definitely not linen. And yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I'm definitely going to make more. However, since I put those photos on Instagram, I have had another look at them. I wore them all day after I took the photos because they're so comfy. And what I found, and I'm not, I haven't taken any photos yet. So if I take some after, I'll pop them in, is that I had a lot of excess fabric at the front so I think the crotch rise needs adjusting on the pattern piece however I'm going to attempt to adjust these from a couple of video tutorials so what I've done is I have put them on and then I pinched out the excess fabric quite low down and pinned it to see if I was happy with that look and then what it sounds like you do from videos is undo the crotch seam for a fair bit out and then I'm going to measure this which I think is about four centimeters so it's two centimeters either side because obviously you're pinching that whole amount out and then what I believe you do is you go up from the crotch uh, the stitching at the crotch up that amount and I'm going to draw a new line there and gradually taper it to the stitching so not a sudden taper just gradually taper it and then I will re-stitch the crotch at that new line. So that will take out that excess fabric. So if any of you have done um, adjustments like that, please let me know how you got on. I hope it will work, but these were my first pair. So if it's not perfect, it doesn't matter. I'm then gonna check out how to alter it on the pattern piece, because again, I haven't done it before. And um, hopefully then my next bob pants will be um, just right in the front. The other thing is I haven't done the optional stitching that they talk about where you run through with another couple of lines in the waistband and I think I will do that. So those are two alterations to my bobs but yeah really love them. Highly recommend such an easy make and in fact the day I was sewing them up Claire who is loves red sews on YouTube and Instagram had just posted her first pair and they're gorgeous as well. So I was really excited to get on with these. And because these ones were my first, like I say, they're plain, but you know me, I have a lot of fabrics. So I'm ready, already planning some 
rather loud bobs for my next pairs. So it was good to get back in my sewing. I have a very messy sewing room at the moment. So uh, you may have seen on Instagram stories the other day, I actually had to move my sewing machine and my overlocker down onto my dining room table in order to sew those because I couldn't be bothered to tidy up. However, <laughs> over the next week, I am hoping to clear the mess uh, that is my sewing room currently. So that's the make. First thing that I got through the post recently, which I purchased, is I'm very excited. You may see them in clips and videos, and you may have seen them when I sometimes catch the top of my shelves. I love the pattern weights from uh, Fox Glove and Field. They do these wooden cotton reel style and then they wrap them with different sort of um, fabrics like Liberty and like black or blue or, or and then they do them in sets of six. And I had a set that I bought a very long time ago and a couple of the wooden parts that you put on the fabric have started to crack and break. So I thought it was a good time to invest. So if you don't know them, that is them there. As I say, it's Fox Glove and Field. And they come in this lovely box here. And the ones that I chose uh, this time round, um, I'll probably put in a photo of the set, but they are these, they're like a um, black and white variety. And I think they were called Sashiko. I will check, I'm probably just completely wrong, but they are really lovely. I can't remember the exact weight. Oh, here you go, is this on it? <laughs> 130 grams. Um, and they're really good. That's one of them there. Um, and I love them. I won't get them all out. I will pop in the photos. So you'll be able to see them. But that was something I was very excited to get because I do use them all the time. And I like to look at pretty pattern weights when I'm cutting out my projects. So that was the first thing that came in the post for me. I have also bought some fabrics. No surprises there. And again, I have to say that this is all down to the influence of Sarah and Claire because they both bought this fabric and made up some gorgeous outfits. Don't think in this colourway because I think it comes into well, three or four colourways. I'm not 100% sure. Um, it's from Pound Fabrics and it was very inexpensive. I want to say it was like £3.50 a metre. Um, I will have to look at, up what it is. It is a woven, but it's this gorgeous pattern here. And I absolutely loved the ones that Claire and Sarah had. And I really thought the blue, of course. I've got four metres because they weren't very expensive. Like I say, I'm pretty sure it was £3.50 a metre. And I want to make either a jumpsuit or a co-ord set out of this. Possibly the Avenir jumpsuit by the Friday Pattern Company. If not, like I say, it would be a top and trousers, I suspect to look like a jumpsuit, but can also be worn as separates. So that, really lovely. Do go check that out. As I said, I will link, if these fabrics are available, I will link them in the description for you. The next fabric I bought was from the shop that I work in. So obviously, if you've been following me for a little while, you know that I've just started back part-time in work. And I'm very lucky. I work in a wonderful haberdashery and fabric shop here in Plymouth. I will link it below because we do have a website as well, so you can check it out. And if I remember to, at the end of the video, I will just insert a little bit of videoing that I did of the shop when I was working the other day. And so you can get an idea of what I'm working in. It is primarily haberdashery, so it has everything you need for your goods. But it has, um, obviously has a big fabric section, which is not mostly dressmaking but does have some gorgeous dressmaking and because I work there I get to see them first and of course I get a discount <laughs> so this one I absolutely loved this is a stretch denim it's not a big stretch it's a slight stretch I can't remember what the stretch is it's a very slight stretch but it is this gorgeous I hope it's coming up well like turquoisey blue denim I think it was called peacock in our shop and I spotted it and I cut off, off two metres and put it aside for me to buy on payday. <laughs> and um, my plan for this gorgeous bright denim is a pair of Thea's from Tilly and the Buttons. I've been wanting to make them for a while and 
so many people are making wonderful versions and so I thought I will crack on. I will be doing a twirl. Um, just let me grab what I'm going to do the twirl with. Excuse how creased this is, but I have this roll of calico that I bought ages ago and I just love that I can bring that out and do any twirl I want. So I will be twirling because obviously trousers are a very specific thing and I want these to fit just right. So I'm excited to sew those up and I was really excited to get this lovely colour here. So I will be hopefully making those soon, but obviously you know me, um, it could be next year before I make them, <laughs> but hopefully it'll be soon. Other things I got through the post, just checking my list. Oh yes, so I'm doing this in order. So the next thing, which I also gave a little sneaky peek on my stories the other day is that now I am working, I'm not earning the big bucks because I'm only working a couple of days a week, two or three days a week. However, it's really nice to have some independent money uh, and not relying on my husband. And so I decided I would treat myself to something each month. And the very first thing that came to mind was something I stopped a little while ago due mostly to money. And that is the wonderful Think Pink subscription box from Andrew at Beyond the Pink Door. So yeah, I was very excited to receive this again. Now I'm not going to do an unboxing. I've seen, I think Rachel and Ruan did um, unboxing of theirs, but I will show you what's in it. It says here, I don't know if you can see, but the sticker there, which I love Andrew's sticker says, enjoy the little things. And inside, oh, I did undo this sticker. Uh, sorry about this. Got one of her postcards, and on that we always have a QR which goes to her ebook, which is really good. That's changed since I last subscribed to her, I think. To what I call hover bubbers, but they're called um, bubblies, uh, which I don't think I've had since I was a teenager. And then these are fantastic. She's done a wonderful collaboration with Little Rosy Cheeks, which I absolutely love. And these labels say, sewing is in my jeans. How fantastic is that? I love those and I will definitely be using them on my make. And then this time around, we've got two of the golden threads. One is a sew all and one is a top stitching. And the fabric, oh, it's gorgeous. I'll probably have to put along the bottom exactly what it is, but it is a denim from Lady McElroy. And it is this wonderful sort of indigo, I think they call it. It's a blue, looks slightly greyish, but it is a blue and it is non-stretch, but it is gorgeous. I absolutely love this denim. It's got a lot of weight to it and we've got two and a half metres. So that's really good because you could make a jacket, you can make jeans, you can make a pinafore dress. You've got so much possibilities with this gorgeous fabric here. Yeah, so I was really happy with that. And when it came, it was quite funny because obviously I've not long bought my denim for my theatre. So it was it was funny to get more denim, but very different. My plans for this is a pattern that I just bought because it's new and it is the Rika pants from Closet Core. Hopefully pop in some photos. Uh, I think these are wonderful. They have a cropped version, which I think has got really deep hem at the bottom, which I love. Or they've got the full length version. What I really love is the extra details that you've got as options. There's different pockets. There's like a little strap. No idea what it's for, but I just like the look of it. <laughs> it's a very much utility looking type of pant. Trousers, as we would call it. Yeah, really looking forward to making that. And I thought the Rika in this wonderful denim will be perfect. Now, the last thing that just arrived the other day, and I have to say the speed of service was wonderful. I wasn't expecting it to come before I recorded this. And it is from a company called Draper's Daughter. And, oh, I've just noticed <laughs> they've put a little 15% code on the back for me. Oh, dangerous. But yeah, Draper's Daughter had some gorgeous fabrics. I spotted this one the other day. And they've also sent, I love this when coming to some swatches of fabrics they have um, in store and then a little label telling you what it is. I love that. 
such a personal touch. So I would definitely shop with them again. Highly recommend. I haven't even opened it. Look, comes lovely package like this. So I'll open it and then come straight back to you. Now, you may or may not know, Atelier Brunette is not the cheapest of fabrics, but when they do new collections, I always love what they come out with. And this one was no exception. This is a gorgeous sweatshirt and fabric, and I'm hoping it will show up well on screen. It is this dark, dark blue. And then in the animal spots there, hopefully you can see it's green and it's a gorgeous sweatshirting. I got myself one and a half meters of this because I really want to make a hoodie. I absolutely loved the combination of that dark blue, the black and the green. And it's a really soft sweatshirt in fabric. So I think it'd be so cozy as a hoodie. And like I say, Draper's Daughter were so swift. I did not expect to get this so soon. Now that our weather's turned, I might well have to make that up very quickly. But yeah, that's Atelier Brunette from their... I think their latest release of fabrics and yeah I absolutely love it. So some gorgeous purchases from uh, companies over the last few weeks. The only other thing that I thought I'd mention before I quickly pop off and hopefully edit and upload this today is that I am off to the knitting and stitching show next weekend. Now I do try to go, I've been for a few years now, I've been the last couple of years with Angela Unfortunately, we're not going together this year. She has um, a wonderful weekend plan doing something else. I had originally booked the Friday and Saturday night in a hotel. I bought standard tickets for Friday because I thought I'd get a train down in the morning, pop in for a few hours in the afternoon. But I bought my usual VIP ticket for the Saturday, which means I get to use the VIP lounge and their cloakroom. I get a little goodie bag. And yeah, it. I need the lounge more than anything because I get very achy walking around. Uh, my old bones don't cope very well with the constant standing and walking. So I go mostly for the lounge so I can sit and have my cups of tea. <laughs> so I was going to stay, as I said, the Friday and Saturday. And I'm really disappointed because I've heard that a few people I'd have loved to have seen are going to be there on the Friday. And unfortunately, um, Due to issues I have no control over, I can now not stay. So you may remember back in March for the Stitch Fest that I went down in a day and back, which from Plymouth is quite a haul because the train is just over three and a half hours. And then obviously it takes time to get to the show. You spend all day at the show and then you've got another wonderful three and a half hour train journey back. But it was either that or I'd have to miss it entirely. And I really don't want to miss it. I love the knitting and stitching show. So I am going on the Saturday and I will hopefully be there not long after it opens because I'm banking on the trains not being late. <laughs> and yeah, I'm really excited. I have already had my floor plan and guide, my sort of um, the, I don't know what they call it, guidebook for the day, uh, which they send you as a VIP uh, ticket holder before the event. So I've been through to see who's going to be there, where they're going to be. Because I've been for a few years, I've noticed that they tend to be in the same areas. So I do roughly know where I'm going for my favourite stalls. I will be checking out all of the stalls that I can, but I've earmarked a few. The main one being the lovely Jen at Generates, as she's released some brilliant new products that I want to pick up while I'm there. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I always find it's a lovely show. If you are going on the Saturday, let me know. Um, if you've been before, what do you think of it? And if you see me, please do come and say hello. I don't bite and it's always lovely to meet people that actually watch my videos. It's um, always really nice if you uh, spot me and you come and say hello. So yeah, that's what I'm up to. I was originally thinking I might do the Thea trousers before I go because Tilly is always there and that would be nice but realistically I'm working three days this week I'm meeting with my parents one day and I've got some work on coming to do some repairs so I'm not gonna hold myself to that if I do it would be a miracle and it'd be amazing but we'll see <laughs> so that's about it for me today I hope you've enjoyed seeing my bob pants and my purchases 
and if you've enjoyed the video please do give it a little thumbs up and if you are watching and haven't subscribed yet I'd really appreciate if you can just subscribe it's free totally free but it really helps my channel get seen by everybody out there so I will pop in the little video of the shop I work in uh, if you're not interested just turn off if you are um, it'll be there now I'll say goodbye and I will catch you all in my next video. Mm -hmm.